Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how we can create custom modules in Node.js. Now in the previous videos, we have already seen how we can use built-in modules in Node.js. And the example of that was uh, using the module called HTTP. So in the previous videos, we have used a built-in module which was uh, already built in a uh, node.js which was called http and the way we have used it is like this so we have used uh, this require keyword and then uh, use the name of the uh, module which we wanted to use right and we have assigned this uh, module to a variable so that it has created an instance of uh, this module and using this uh, variable we can call any method inside uh, this uh, module which it contains right in a similar way in node.js we can also define our own custom module now for example we want to uh, define a module which says hello in different language so we can define our custom module now for that what we can do is we just need to create a new file for every module we want to create so let me go to the command line and let's see what are the files which are there in uh, inside my project right now so as i can see i have right now only app.js which is my main uh, file you can see here also the same right and now I'm going to create a new file. For example, I'm going to say a, that it's a hello.js, for example. And in this new file, we want to uh, create a function. For example, I will create a function. And first of all, let me create a variable which has the name save hello in English, for example, right? And to this variable, I will assign a value which is returned by a anonymous function. So we can define an anonymous function like this. We have already seen in the previous video. And then this function returns, for example, let's see what it returns. So it returns hello in English, something like this, right? And the way we can use this uh, function in our main uh, app.js is we just need to use a keyword called exports right so here we have defined uh, this variable and if you use instead of this var if you use exports something like this then you can use all the content of uh, this file in the other file for example right now how you can use this file content into the main file for example we use the same uh, construct we just use var and let's say uh, our variable name we want to give here is uh, hello right is equal to require just use require and as we have done in the built-in module we have just called the name of the module for example we were using http we have called the name of the module so the rule in uh, node.js is whenever you are using a built-in module which is not created by uh, you then you can use something like name of the module only otherwise if you want to use a custom module you can just write something like this so you can just write dot and then forward slash and then for example the name of the file so hello.js something like this okay and now using uh, this uh, variable you can call a function so i will just use semicolon here and then for example i will just uh, console log the value which is returned by that function right and then what i want to do i will just use this variable 
and then call a method which I have defined here, which is this one. So whenever you uh, you know require any file, for example, all the method inside that file are available in this uh, file which in which you have required this file, right? So I can just write something like this and then don't forget these brackets because this function have these brackets, right? Without any argument, right? And then save your code and then go to the command line and then just run your app. So just write node app.js and it gives me error so let's see what what the error is the spelling of export is wrong so just write exports right so just write exports dot say hello right and then once again run your code and now it prints hello okay so in order to uh, you know use the content of uh, one file into other you need to use this keyword before your uh, function name for example right now if you uh, want to use multiple uh, functions you can just write something like this so for example first function is hey, say hello in uh, english then the second function is uh, say hello in spanish for example and it says hola something like this right now this uh, method is also available so both the methods are available now in the uh, app.js file so instead of uh, using say hello in english we can just say say hello in spanish and then we can run our code once again and it prints hola right so this is one way of uh, you know uh, using a module custom uh, module right the other way is you can just use something like this so what you can do here is you define your uh, functions uh, these uh, variables remove the export from here something like this and then you just use uh, these colons here and then here you just write uh, module dot exports and in the curly braces just enclose both the functions something like this okay and just use comma here and also don't forget to assign this value here okay so just write module dot export and then you have uh, these object inside the these curly braces for example say hello in english and say hello in spanish and this is also uh, this kind of uh, you know export can also be used so let's see what's the result now i hope it will be same it's the same result right so this is the second way of uh, exporting your uh, you know methods right the third way of uh, using modules is for example you have uh, these uh, object and elements here right and then you can uh, assign this to some uh, new object for example var hello right and then you can uh, just use module dot export and then assign the value of hello here right and we are not doing anything special here you see we were using this uh, modules dot export here right and what we have done is instead of using this we have assigned the value of uh, this object to a variable for example var hello and then we have just assigned the value of hello and we have exported this uh, module right so essentially the same but this is more readable so 
this says that this is our hello module and it have two function inside it right and it's also going to give the same result so once again run the code says the same let's use both the function so say hello in Spanish and say hello in English and then we can just run our code and it prints hello and hello hola right so in this way you can define a custom module in node.js i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now